Story 1 Cheating Wife Kicks Out Husband to Bring in Her Lover I'm gonna give you another chance. Listen up! I've got news for you. Tell me later, I'm busy at work right now. I'm texting you because I want to talk now. Make time. Got it? This is really important. Answer me. I told you I'm working. Please just tell me later. What? Looks like I got you to answer, though. <laughs> yeah, well, you said it was important. So I snuck away for a second. What's so important? What's your problem? Don't you care about your family? Yes, I do. That's why I'm busting my butt at work right now. Yeah, right. I know you're slacking off like always. If you worked as hard as you think you are, you'd be bringing home more. Your salary is pathetic. You need to work harder, otherwise it's not going to cut it. Whatever, anyway. I'm going on a spa getaway with Maria next week. What? Why do you need to go to a spa? Yep. A new place just opened up state and it's getting rave reviews. Some other moms I know said that it was life-changing. I've been a little bit worried about skincare lately. I'm too young to start getting wrinkles. What perfect timing for that place to open. Why does Maria need to go there too? She's still in high school. <laughs> you really are an idiot. You don't understand women at all. Every woman knows you need to start looking after your skin at an early age. You're her father, aren't you? How could you possibly not know that? Okay, but how much is this going to cost? Only $2,500. What? $2,500 for a spa? How? Why are you surprised? That's normal. Oh, sorry, I meant $2,500 per person. So, for the two of us, it'll be $5,000. Cut it out. That's way too expensive. No way. <laughs> well, I already paid, so there's nothing you can do. You paid $5,000 already? Did you take money out of my savings account? Don't worry. Oh, the trial course for new customers was only 25 bucks. I paid that with my own money. You need to cancel and get that money back right now. How could you drop five grand without even talking to me about it first? <laughs> Do you think this is the 50s? I have to consult with the man of the house before I can use any of his money? That's not what I'm saying at all. If you wanted to spend that much, you should have let me know so we could work something out. I'm paying for Maria's school, our mortgage, all the bills and taxes. I wish I could make more, and I'm really trying to work hard to do that. I want to make our lives easier. But there's only so much I can handle working. I really want you to leave working to me, but in return, I'm asking you to think more about things at home. Oh, I don't want to hear any excuses out of you. Just earn more. I don't care what it takes or how much you think you can handle. Find a new job you can earn more at. It's that simple. You have no idea how much preserving beauty means to a woman. A man is judged on his education and salary. A woman is judged on her beauty. I'm nice enough to overlook your pathetic salary, but don't drag us down with you by not letting us get in the proper beauty care we need. It's only $5,000. Put in the extra work to keep your girls looking young and beautiful. You can do it. You said you wanted our lives easier, didn't you? Work hard and remind me why I chose to marry you. Hey, old man. I'm waiting outside of the mall. I need a ride. Come pick me up. Sorry, I'm still at work. Ask mom to come get you. Are you serious? I need you to come. Is it too much to ask to help your own daughter? Mom's out drinking with her friends, so she can't come get me. Really? If you take the bus, it'll drop you off pretty close to home. Do you think you could take the bus home instead? OMG, what? You want me to take the bus at this time of night? What's wrong with a bus? It's not even that late. It's the only way you can get home right now. Plus, it's only seven. You usually come home way later than that. Oh, I can't help it if the guy I was planning to meet blew me off. There's no way I'd be getting a seat on the bus. I'm not standing the whole way home. I'll just call an Uber home. 
Maria, come on. I don't think standing for the 20-minute bus ride is going to kill you. Oh, wow. There are so many creeps and weirdos who ride the bus at this time of night, but you don't care at all about the safety of your daughter. I am worried, but I really can't leave work right now. I'm about to have a very important meeting. Here's the plan. I'll come get you when things finish up here. Until then, why don't you just go back inside the mall for a little while? No way! Come now! Maria, please... If you don't come get me right now, I'm going to get in the car with a random guy. Stop it. Don't even think about doing that. I told you, I really can't come right now. Oh, whatever. Oh, I'll just get mom's boyfriend to come pick me up. What? <gasps> oh, OMG, you didn't know? Mom's got a boyfriend. What are you talking about? She has a boyfriend? I'm honestly amazed at how stupid you are. That's probably why she's cheating on you. Your mom is having an affair. Mom doesn't think of you as her husband anymore, so technically it's not an affair. I've actually met him before. He's so handsome. He's way better looking than you, old man. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Laura, where are you? I'm out drinking with some friends. If it's not important, don't bother me. Maria told me you're having an affair. That's not true, is it? <laughs> Maria said that. That's so funny. Is it true? It sure is. Super, super true. I can't believe it took you so long to realize. I'm actually out with him right now. I can't believe you. You're insane. What are you saying? I told you that a woman's value is her beauty. As long as a woman is beautiful, she's got to keep finding love. I have no feelings towards you whatsoever. So, on to the next one. <laughs> this is serious. Who do you think I am? You? You're my slave. Your slave. I've never once thought of you as my husband. All you are to me is a wallet. Or considering your salary, should I say spare change? <laughs> Either way, you're below the level of a human to me. Do you have any idea how hard I've worked to support our family? Did you really? Or are you just saying that? If you were actually working as hard as you think you are, you'd have something to show for it. You're just a drone that's not capable of achieving anything. You don't have any idea what you've done. I'm done with you. Why are you mad? Also, getting a divorce is absolutely not an option. Don't even think about it. Why not? My dad is the owner of the company that your dad works at. Yeah, I know. The only reason we got married is because they set us up. So if you do anything stupid, I'll make sure your dad loses his job. <laughs> do you want to be the reason your dad is jobless? What's wrong with you? Do you have any idea what you're saying? Anyway, I'm not coming home tonight. When you get home, make sure to clean up around the house. The laundry is piling up, too. You better listen to me, otherwise I'll put your dad out on the streets. Laura is a totally different person from the woman I married. I was at the brink of a full mental health breakdown. I worked and worked and worked to try and make her happy. I would stare down at the shower drain, crying alone, thinking about how things came to this. I promised myself I'd make her and my disrespectful daughter pay for the way they treated me. I came up with a plan. It took some time, but the day finally came when I could execute that plan to get my revenge. Tell me where you are right now. I have a favor to ask you. At work. Oh, you're being a good little slave, aren't you? Good boy. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you all about the money for my boyfriend's debt. What? His debt. Yep. I couldn't believe how much money he owes. I guess he still has a lot to pay from when his business went under. So what? What does that have to do with me? Will you pay the money he owes for him? <sighs> you must be crazy. There's no way I'm ever going to do that. He owes a few hundred thousand dollars. Don't you feel bad for him? It would be way faster and easier if you just helped him out. 
Maria is right next to me, and she thinks the same thing. Get that thought out of your head. There's absolutely no way I'm going to pay the debt for the man my wife's having an affair with. You're being so rude. He's practically family. Are you insane? He is absolutely not family. You really need to get your head examined. Oh, what? Are you still mad about me cheating on you? <laughs> get over it! You're too sensitive. Is that why you lock yourself in your room every night after you get home from work? I guess you're right. I have nothing more to say to you. Oh, yeah? So what? You're gonna get a divorce? Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't. All you are is my little slave. You don't have the right to speak. Now you're just wasting my time. I'll say it one more time. There's no way I'm going to pay off his debt. You chose him. He's your responsibility, not mine. Is that right? This would have been a reason for us to think positively of you for once. Oh, well. You get an F. I think you'll really regret this decision. I come very good news. What? I'm still at work. Well, you better plan on staying there. You're homeless now. What are you talking about? Mommy's boyfriend came over earlier. He dumped all your stuff into the garbage. Looks like he's moving in. There's no reason for you to ever come back home unless it's to give us money. Took him long enough. Huh? Nothing. Got it. I won't come near you guys ever again. What? Why are you being weird? I don't think you really understand. Mom's boyfriend brought all his stuff over and moved in. He even brought a dog leash and said, hey, maybe we can put your husband on the end of this. <laughs> I guess you could come back if you wanted to live in a dog house. Why are you ignoring me? Don't you understand what's happening? Sorry about that. I just got to the place I'm staying tonight. Like I said, you can sleep outside here. I told you we don't care. I never want to go back to that house. So you're turning down our kind offer. Whatever, I'm sure you're staying at some rundown motel off the highway. I think it'd suit you more to sleep out on the front lawn. <laughs> Say what you want, I'm not coming back. Today is the first day of your life as a homeless man. How sad. Nothing better than staying at a five-star hotel. What? Oops. Sorry, I let that slip. What is this? Where is that? I'm downtown right now. Are you serious? What hotel are you staying at? The Four Seasons. What? How could you possibly be staying there? Wait a minute, there's no way you're really staying there. <gasps> you're lying. If you don't believe me, why don't you come down and check? I'll come down and meet you in the lobby. There's no way you're coming up to my room, though. I don't believe you. Why are you there? There's no way you can afford that. I'll tell you why. I've been learning about investing the whole time I've been working. What do you mean investing? Investing money, specifically in the stock market. Do you actually make money from that? If you do, then why would you stay at that pathetic job? Pathetic job, huh? This is obviously way too much for a high schooler like you to comprehend. Money doesn't just grow on trees. If I don't work, I can't earn any money. I'm not a pro investor or anything, so I couldn't rely on just the stock market to make a living. Investing is just one source of income. My normal job provides financial stability. Uh, okay, okay. So you sold some stocks or something so you could stay at that hotel. That's right. I don't think your delicate little brain could comprehend the intricacies of trading and selling. But to put it simply, I sold some stock and earned around a hundred grand from them. OMG, what? You made a hundred thousand dollars just from selling stocks. <laughs> You're lying. No, it's true. I'm actually doing so well with my investments, I could quit my normal job and be totally fine. But that has nothing to do with you guys anymore. Hang on a second. I just told mom what you said. She said she's going to come over to talk with you. That's a waste of time. I'm not coming out to see her. Dad, please! Could you please just come home? I take back what I said about having to sleep in a doghouse. Dad, that's the first time you've ever called me that. To you, I'm usually just old man. 
You must feel so embarrassed now for the way you treated me. Well, that's all mom's fault. She told me to say all those things to you. You love blaming people when it's convenient for you. I wish I could have done more to raise you to be a decent person. Sorry, but my shift is ended. I'm clocking out. My job raising you is over. Don't talk like that! I'm your little girl! I promise to be nicer to you. Oh, will you? <laughs> you really are your mother's child. I've had enough of you and your mother's abuse. I hope you get along with mommy's new debt-stricken boy toy. Shut up! Farewell, Maria. <coughs> Maria told me everything. She said you're loaded now from the stock market. I was just lucky. What of it? I'm gonna be nice and give you another chance. You can't be serious. If you promise to keep making crazy money on the stock market, I'll let you come crawling back home. I'll even treat you like my husband. What a great deal! So what do you say? You're a lunatic. What? You think you can just dangle that insane offer in front of me, thinking I'd come running back to that house full of people who don't know the value of a dollar? I've learned my lesson about you guys. From now on, all the money I earn is for me and me only. I'm not giving you a cent. <laughs> what? There's no way you can just cut us off like that. Once we get divorced, you have to pay child support at least. You know I'm getting half your money, right? What are you saying? You think I'm going to pay child support after you said you didn't consider me your husband and Maria never once called me her father? You cheated on me and you think you're getting half my money? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? Do your research. You think I'm just going to come running back to you like a dog? You think you can just walk away from us? A woman like me only comes once in a lifetime. Yeah, thank God there aren't more women like you. Maybe you think you're on the top of the world because you're beautiful now, but you can't stop time. I'm telling you what beauty is. A person is truly beautiful when they treat others kindly and make the world a better place for other people. I can say with confidence, you are the complete opposite. That's why I'm leaving you. You can't do that. You can't leave me. Yes, I can and I will. We're getting a divorce. Oh, yeah? So I guess you don't care if it makes your dad jobless? He clearly failed raising his son to look out for him. My dad already left that job. He did? The day I found out about your affair, I called him and told him. He said, ditch that dreadful woman. I'm not working another second for this job if she's going to hang it over your head. He resigned that very day. He really said that about me? I felt so bad for my dad that your affair affected him. So I vowed to support him from now on with all the money I'll be making. Our plan is to live together. No! Why? What do you expect me to do? There's nothing I care less about in this world than what happens to you from now on. But once you're gone, no one will be around to give us money. Why don't you ask your new man? I can't. He's in between jobs at the moment. Oh, yeah? Does that mean you chose a jobless loser in debt over me? Ah, I get it now. You wanted me to keep forking over money so you and your low-life boyfriend could continue your little affair? No. Don't try and pretend that's not what your plan was. You can't take advantage of me anymore. I'm getting in touch with a lawyer, and I have every intention of moving forward with the divorce. On top of that... I'm planning on taking you to court for damages from your affair. You're going to sue me? I can't afford to go through that. Well, you have no choice. You caused this when you thought you could just cheat on me and nothing would happen. You're blaming this on my affair? <laughs> Good luck trying to prove that. Do you have any evidence? Actually, I do. You never wondered why I stayed in that house for as long as I did, even when I locked myself in my room for hours. Because you had nowhere else to go. There's no other reason. No, stupid. I was waiting until you kicked me out. You were? Knowing you, it was only a matter of time. I know you were planning to drive me out of the house and have that bum boyfriend live there instead. I even went ahead to hire a private detective to document the whole thing. He said there's more than enough proof to give a judge. 
Not to mention all the pictures he took of you dumping all my stuff into the garbage. You're lying! Please pick up! You can't do this! Don't walk away from me! Actually, I'm pregnant! You're the father! We haven't even slept in the same bed for over a year. There's no way that baby is mine. That's a pretty pathetic thing to say to try and get us to stay together. You're a scumbag. By the way, do you remember when you obnoxiously gave me an F as your husband? Well, guess what? Now it's my turn to hand out the report card. You get an F as a wife. If only you were as beautiful on the inside as you think you are on the outside. After that, Maria and Lara tried to march into the hotel I was staying at. They busted through the line of staff in the lobby, made it up to my room and tried to kick down the door. But, this being a five-star hotel, they responded to the situation immediately by sending security up in a matter of seconds. The hotel was so apologetic about it, they said they'd pick up the tab for all the food and drinks I wanted. I can't get the image of those two witches being dragged away by security out of my head. I can't stop laughing about it. I almost peed my pants when it was happening. The divorce was finalized and I handily won the court case, suing my wife for damages from her affair. Lara was so desperate for help, she went to her father to try and get him to do something, but he shot her down. It seems like when my dad quit his job, he really affected Lara's dad's company. The hole he left was too big to fill even now. Of course, the reason for that being his trashy daughter. Her good-for-nothing boyfriend ran off the second he saw how much money Lara owes me now. It's way more than the debt he has. Now Lara is working part-time during the day and working at a bar at night. The private high school I was paying for cut Maria loose after the payments stopped coming in. She had to transfer schools. Unluckily for her, her new school is a really rough inner-city school that has a really bad reputation. I hope she can make friends with the thugs and criminals she's classmates with now. I bet they're going to eat her alive. <laughs> On the other hand, the stock market has been booming and my investments have soared. I've made way more than I ever dreamed of. I'm using that money to happily support and live with my parents. We've actually just renovated the house I grew up in where we're living now. Things are calm and peaceful in my life now. I'm grateful that I finally found true happiness. Story 2 Cheating Husband Returns from Vacation with Lover to Find the Wife and Daughter Moved Out Hey, how are you doing? I'm just about getting used to how things go about here. What's new? Mmm, well, I'd say it's alright. <laughs> what do you mean it's alright? <laughs> Come on, why do you sound so cold? Do I? It was just being normal. Nah, I know you're not like that. It's been a week that your love is overseas, working his tail off. I'd be lonely and texting him every chance I get. Like, how are you, and are you eating well? You know what I mean. And you're not even interested, jeez. Uh, I didn't have much to talk about. And with the time difference, I thought it would be more of a nuisance for you. It's also not your first business trip. Oh, come on. Well, I'm doing just fine. And I'll be back in three days or so. Oh yeah, could you pick me up at the airport on the day I'll be arriving? I got a whole bunch of stuff to carry back home. What? No way. I'd rather not, to be honest. Seriously, what's going on? Please, hun, do me a favor. I have tons of souvenirs for you, too. So, do you mind helping me out with the luggage? I told you, no. I don't need your souvenirs. Why don't you just keep being on your business trip? Whoa, you seem pretty upset. What made you so mad? What happened? Oh... Is it because I've been away for so long and you miss me? I'm sorry, honey. I'll be back soon. I'll go straight home after I land at the airport. No need for that. In fact, I don't need you either. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, literally, I don't need you. There's no place for you over here, so don't come back. Ever. What is with all this? I'm almost done moving out, too. Moving out? You've got to explain this. While you were gone, I decided to move out of the condo. Wait, I'm not following. Moving out. Why, though? Oh, is this some kind of prank you're pulling here? It's not a prank. You can believe whatever you want, but we did move out. You'd understand once you see our condo. What the heck? 
you actually moved out. Why would you suddenly move out without telling me? This is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I send your stuff to your parents. Instead of going straight to the condo, you should go to your parents' place. Come on, wait a second. I seriously can't understand all this. Why would you sell our condo without asking me in the first place? It's my house. You can't do that. Get out of here. It's not your house. My granddad owned the place until he gave it to me before our marriage. You see how there's no you in that sentence? It's my house. I can do whatever I want with it. Well, if you want to be technical, yeah. But you can't just do that. Where are we going to stay? Are you saying we're going to live with my parents? No way! Why would I do that? We found a new place. Already have our furniture set. We're staying with my parents for now, though. Then, you could have just sent my stuff to the new place, too. You didn't have to send it to my parents. It's just extra work. When I get back, I'll head over to our new place. Could you tell me our new address? What are you saying? Why would I tell our new address to you? Huh? Well, I need to get there before living there, you know. How would I get there without knowing the address? Why do you think you'll be living here with us? What? There's no place for you over here. It's me and my daughter Jackie's house. You go live with your parents or find yourself a new house. What is this nonsense? You two living in a new house while I live with my parents or by myself? Sounds like we're getting divorced. Exactly. We're going to live separately and then get a divorce. What? Divorce? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. I've sent the papers and whatnot to your parents along with your stuff. Read through it and sign it, please. You've got to slow down. Moving out, getting divorced. You're rushing all of this. What's the problem? Kyle, you know what the problem is. Do you seriously think I'm going to believe you saying I don't know? No, I seriously don't. I don't understand why I need to get treated like this. Samantha Moore. You know who that is, right? No, I don't. Who the hell is that? Don't be stupid. I already looked into it. She's your colleague. And the woman you've been seeing lately. Well, I know her name. She's my colleague. What do you mean I've been seeing her? You think I've been cheating. You seriously think you could just get by this playing dumb? It's been three months since I found out. About your affairs? What? My friend told me about it. She saw you and Samantha being real close at a department store. My friend remembers your face from the time you went to pick Jackie up from school. She was sure it was you. Cheating in broad daylight where we usually go to. You've really got some nerve. No, no. Uh, it wasn't some kind of date. Our boss had a birthday coming up, so we went to pick up some presents. It's just something I had to do, you know? Something you had to do, huh? You walked out of her home wearing your usual clothes, only to end up walking around all dressed up, checking jewelry with a co-worker as your boss's present? We just walked by the shop. I got changed since it was quite chilly that day and wore a jacket that I kept in my office. It's nothing like what you're implying between Samantha and I. You call her Samantha in front of other people. Apparently you call her Samantha Honey when you're all alone. Huh? After getting my friend's tip off, I got people to look into it. You know, professionals. Professionals? You hired people for this? Yeah, of course I did. You two were so oblivious. So much evidence of your little affair. We found out you two call each other Honey and Boo. Found the hotel you two check into regularly. Well, <laughs> this is all just a big misunderstanding. I looked into it a bit further. I hit the jackpot. Jackpot. I went and talked with your boss to ask questions about you and Samantha. You talked with who? Interestingly enough, your boss didn't know you were on a business trip. In fact, this whole past week, he told me you'd asked for paid leave. <laughs> he must have got things mixed up with his other guy. He makes mistakes, too. He's human. Uh, Samantha took exactly the same number of paid leave days on the same dates. What a coincidence. Uh, let me get this straight. You were never on a business trip, right? 
Was your vacation with Samantha worth it? Did you two enjoy the beach in Cancun? Loads and loads of search history on our PC about it. You've never taken Jackie on a trip like that before, and here you are. What a difference in treatment between us and Samantha. <sighs> if you found out that much, I've got to admit it. I did, indeed, go on a trip with Samantha Moore. But there are reasons to this. Save the excuses. Nothing can change the fact you cheated on me, and I really don't care why you did it. What? Could you at least hear out what I have to say? Is it, you were so cold, didn't spend time with me, blah blah blah? Or is it because you couldn't say no to Samantha? Is it, it's not my fault, it's you and Jackie's fault? No, that's not... I mean, is there any reason to actually justify cheating? I don't think so. So it's just a waste of time. That's the end of it. Sign the papers when you get back. Okay, I understand. I won't say any excuses. It's all my fault. So please, let me have another chance. Why though? You can just move on with Samantha without any sense of remorse. She's nothing compared to you. You and Jackie are the only ones I truly love from the bottom of my heart. Jackie's still little, she needs a father. I can't imagine what she's going to go through if she suddenly loses her father. Let's talk this out, not just for us, but for our daughter. Are you seriously calling Jackie little? Do you know how old she is right now? She's still in elementary school, that's little enough. Oh my god, she's in middle school, she's in seventh grade. I can't believe you don't remember your daughter's age. How can you be so uninterested towards your family? And here you are saying, let's talk this out for our daughter. You can't be serious. Uh, no, I got things mixed up, of course I know. I've talked with Jackie about this whole thing. She's old enough to understand. She says she doesn't want to see you anymore and would rather live with me. No, this can't be. By the way, both of our parents and your boss know about this. I've shown all the evidence to your parents as well. How could you do that? You told my boss about this? I think it's quite natural how the conversation went. I asked about your business trip and he asked what business trip. You get the idea. I could have lied, but that's not right. I'm honest, unlike somebody here. Please, honey. You've got to rethink this. I don't want to get divorced. Please forgive me, I'll do anything. Yeah, yeah. Talk to my lawyer from now on. I sent his contact information along with your stuff. Just make sure you don't take too long signing the papers. See ya! I'm heading home now. Let's talk face to face. Please, just give me a chance. <laughs> Kyle came back home in a hurry, and was stubborn about not getting divorced without talking face to face. I left my lawyer to deal with everything. His parents also scolded him for his actions, and I think that made him give up. He paid for all the damages done, without seeing me or Jackie's face. Samantha's going to pay for all the things she's done as well. Both of them lost faith from their parents, and the rumor had spread in their office. They couldn't find another job, so both of them are still working at their office. It's going to be a while before they can find somewhere that's comfortable to work. Jackie and I are enjoying our new lives at our new home, looking out for each other. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications for our future videos. See you soon!